Hey guys, welcome to PA Outdoors. Today I'm gonna be doing a turkey call build, pot call. I think it's three and a half inch size. I'm using black aluminum for the surface and glass for the soundboard. I'm gonna do a quick measurement. Three and a half inch diameter for this black slate. So, first thing you want to do, uh, I think I got this from Shipley's Outdoors. I got it quite a bit ago, but I'm actually making this for a friend. Um, so anyways, first thing you want to do when you first get them, you got to sand them. So I'm starting off with sand. We're not doing 220 right now. We're gonna start off with 120. 180. Yeah. 180. Duh. Just wanna sand it till it becomes smooth to your liking. Now I've already sanded this a little bit, so it's doesn't need much. I forget what kind of wood this is called. I thought it looked nice with the black and this color. So, yeah, like I said, I've already pre sanded this so it doesn't, didn't need much. Okay, so, next thing you wanna do is, you wanna stain it, but you don't wanna use oil base because if any oil gets on this surface here, it'll ruin it. So you gotta use water-based stuff. I have to look and see if I have anything any water-based stain if not I have something else that'll work but I finally got a tripod I got something that'll work for one um yeah I think last time I might have just used this stuff pre-stain better than nothing I guess but if you really want it to turn out good you'd use normal water-based stain brush. I'm actually, I don't know if this has any oil in it, so I'm gonna wash it with some Dawn. Washed out. I'm gonna go get a paper towel right here. Right now. Dry it off a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna find a spot to set you guys for now. Okay, hopefully it doesn't fall. Get this just finished right out. Alright, feels good. This stuff I'm gonna go run and grab a lot head for a quick. Just gonna open it. Alright. So 
it just kind of looks like milk, honestly. Right now. But. It just protects it a little bit more putting that on it. Okay. So. Make sure this is dry. Just going to get a little bit. Rub it on. Smells like stain. Almost looks blue whenever it's on there. Whenever it dries, it'll look different, but just get it everywhere in there. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna cut right here because I'm gonna let that dry. While I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna make uh, his striker for him too. While I'm at it, okay. So I'm not sure if this is gonna dry out tonight or not, but okay. Yeah, watch this out. I'm gonna draw off my hands real quick. All right, so I'm gonna cut. I'll be back with you shortly. All right, I'm back and I'm gonna start making the strikers. already measured the size that I want. It's seven and a half inches. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna go with this and I think I'm gonna go with that. Alright so gonna get this glue I have right here. Put it on the end of the striker that's going in the topper. Just push it in. Alright. I'm going to sand down around the first part so it goes in easier. Make it smaller. Do some 80 grit for that. 120. Okay. Alright. I think I got it in as far as it will go. And I'm going to put some glue around here for extra security. That way I know it won't come out. It's stuck in there so well. I don't think it even need the glue, but just so it's uh, for more security. All right, so now I'm gonna mark at where I need to cut. I'm gonna do Right in between seven and a half and eight. So seven and three quarters. I'm gonna put this in the vise. Alright, then I'm gonna get my hacksaw. that mark. Alright, 
caught it. Caught. Make sure that's pushed in the whole way. Alright, it is. Okay. So now, I'm going to get that sandpaper. Just get the edges. This edge down here needs to be rounded off a little bit and flattened. so it's a little bit easier to sand. These will get more fire grip. I'm not sure if that stain I have will take the whole time to dry. No. If I don't finish that call in this video, which I should, because if it takes more than one day, I'll just extend this video until Wednesday. I'm filming this on Tuesday. Then. Okay, so that looks good. And get it higher grit. Looks better. Alright, so that looks pretty good. Looks like a good striker. Obviously, this group glue will dry and everything, but looks nice. Alright, so now I'm gonna fit work on the other one. And I think, I forget what this material, acrylic, use an acrylic striker for this one, a rod, I guess. Alright, so, gonna have to do the same thing with this one, uh, grind it down so it fits in easier. I'm hoping to do a lot of turkey videos this season because I'm going to be able to hunt by myself. But definitely expect some turkey videos. If I, catch, if I kill one, maybe even a catch and cook. Yeah, I'll do catch and cook definitely. Alright, got that sanded down. Alright, so we kind of got that stuck in there. Just need to finish pushing it in. So actually, if it's that stuck in there, it probably won't come out. So I'll just put some glue around the seam. And alright. So, now, Put that cat back on the glue so it doesn't dry out. Gonna see what this measurement's at. Alright, so I'm gonna mark it to cut it. Okay, 
and I'm gonna get my hacksaw and cut that. Alright, so that was pretty easy. Now I gotta get this sanded down. thinking some videos to do this summer I'm probably gonna do a lot of try to do a lot of camping fishing obviously uh, kayaking and whatever else you guys want to see I don't think there's any seasons in in summer then pretty sure you can hunt coyotes all year round I might try to do a squirrel hunting video sometime before the season goes out. Me a squirrel catch and cook if I get one. Oh. Uh, uh, pretty soon there should be a video of me flushing that raccoon I caught. I just haven't got to it yet. I've been doing other stuff. I was gonna do it this weekend, but I went somewhere. So, probably gonna film that video sometime this week. Uh, I'm gonna cut right now. Could be, it's getting a little long. So, I'll see you back whenever I'm finished with this, and I'll update you on that call. See if it's dry. All right, guys, got the acrylic striker finished. Looks pretty nice. I'll test it out on my what my call in the video here really soon if the Column drying doesn't get finished, so I'll walk over here. Yeah, that looks really nice. Uh, still feels wet. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that will, if it stays that color, that'll be really nice. So then I'm gonna run up, get my call, test out these strikers. Uh, I'm gonna cut. I'll be back with my call that I made. I used this fall season. That was before I even thought about doing the YouTube. So, I'll get that down here. And I'll show you some other strikers I made also in Woodshot. Alright guys, I'm back. I got my call I made. I have a crystal surface and a copper soundboard. It sounds pretty good actually. And... This is my two strikers I made with it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead with this striker right now. Try not to do it too much because it's really loud. Let's see if I can muffle it. Sounds pretty good. Now with this acrylic. It sounds more like a Jake Yelp. Not as high pitched. Then this one I made in wood shop. It's pretty bad. It's not very long. Yeah. It's... That's better than I've had it. I'm gonna try sand it down in this real quick. Some high grit stuff. I'm actually gonna just roughen up this a little bit. Anyways, this kind of wood I got has all that speckles on it. I thought it looked really cool. That doesn't sound bad, actually. I like this one. I like the one piece look of them. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Uh, I made this last year when I was in ninth grade for first year I was in wood shop, but. I was gonna, it was Friday, so I was going to pick it up on Monday because I still had a little bit more to do to it. But then the school got shut down in April, so I think it was April or March. So I had to wait that whole summer and everything. I don't have wood shop this year because I'm doing Votech, but one of my other buddies have it. and 
he saw this on the lathe and said he'd finish it for me and he got it back to me I cut it there's some blocks on the end from it being on the lathe so I cut those off and I got this all sanded up and everything it was really squeaky at first but now it actually sounds pretty good you see it sounds pretty good so now I'm gonna try these ones I made for these are actually for the same person that uh, brought me back that striker sounds pretty good that's this one I just made and I am now trying the acrylic acrylic is just lower I apparently That was the acrylic, actually. Yeah. It's, they all sound pretty good. Uh, my favorite kind of call to use is a pot call. That's just, I've called them it last season, or in fall whenever I went out hunting. I sat there and called for about an hour. Didn't think there was anything, so I got up and moved. And while I was walking down, it's starting to get, it wasn't dark. It was about an hour till shooting light. So hold on, I'm gonna go put this away. So I decided I was gonna get up and move, see if I could hear anything. And then I realized, what if there's some that are coming to my call? So I started get, heading back there. I look over, the, there's a little ridge right here. Then there was a grassy flat. A little, well it's not really a field, it was like a 30 yard circle of just grass. It sounds like a food plot, but it wasn't. It was just a little patch that the sun was shining on. But anyways, I looked up over the ridge, I saw a turkey head. So I crouched down, there's a big patch of pine trees to my right. So I went into the, that. There's the trail right there that the trucks and everything used to get down there. And I saw them crossing that. The only thing I could think of to do was either try to sneak up on them or what I did was I ran up to them, uh, spread them all out. And there was a couple times I might have been able to get a shot at one, but there's a deer stand down there. It was just newly built. I would have been shooting near that. And I, I just didn't shoot. But anyways, uh, we went back the next morning early. And they were just gobbling like crazy, hens clucking. The only thing we saw that morning, which we were sitting in the ground blind, which I don't, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of hunting out of ground blind for turkeys, but uh, there was two toms there, which would have been really cool to get in fall season because not very many people get them. That's kind of like the trophy to get. But yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna go check on that. Oh, see, still definitely wet. I'm gonna have to pick this up later tonight or uh, later tonight or tomorrow. But. Right. I have my dog down here with me. Alright, so. Uh, maybe I'll show you guys my turkey hunting gear. Uh, maybe. I'm not sure though. But, anyways. So, see you guys whenever that turkey call was dry. Alright, I'm back. Call finished drying. Looks pretty nice. Looks really nice. Okay. So now, first thing you want to do after you get it done drying, got my soundboard here. I don't know if you necessarily need a soundboard, but I like to have them, and I have it, so why not use it? It goes in the bottom, right below. There's a lip right here. The uh, friction surface goes on, then the soundboard goes underneath. So, <clears throat> see if I can get you guys to see this. 
was cool if you drew it. All right. Anyway, you want to put glue around right here. I don't put any glue on this, but you get that centered up as much as possible. So I'm gonna, right now I'm putting the glue on. Just don't need much. That's all I'm using. <clears throat> then get it centered as easily as possible, as much as possible. Sorry. Then get this clamp. Uh, you want to put it right where. Make sure it's centered. And look like that. Make sure if you're using glass or anything, make sure you have it. Uh, make sure you have it on this round part right here, so the glass doesn't shatter. You can see oh, right there. Okay, so <clears throat> you want to let that sit at least until it's tacky enough so it won't move around. <clears throat> if not dried. Then you want to put this side on, this friction surface on, so I'll catch you guys later whenever that's dry enough. I can take this clamp off and I can put the other surface on. Well, I'm back and this glue's dried enough that I can put the friction surface on. So, pretty, pretty much the uh, did, did, uh, same thing, for, pretty much the same thing for the friction surface except there's a lot smaller rim it's right here it's a lot smaller than that part so same thing just put a little just put a little bead of glue around the whole outside gonna make this one small all right then this one it should be about you shouldn't have to center it at all because it should be pretty much centered already. So, you know, put it on. And there it is. Just gonna, I don't need to do this, but I'm just gonna clamp this outside right here. You can see it's kind of halfway on the surface halfway not so after that's pretty much completely dry probably it might even be tomorrow that I'll test it out for you so you can see how it um, how it sounds actually it'll probably be tonight later tonight because I'm gonna give it to him tomorrow so <clears throat> anyway see you in the next scene whenever I test out that call and I will, that'll probably be it for this video after I test it. So see you in the next clip. All right, guys, glue is dried. So now let's test out this call uh, for making the friction surface. Uh, I like to use the highest grit sandpaper I have. So I'm using 220. Um, I'm only doing just a small part of it, just a small area, just right at the top there you can kind of see it, you know, see the striker I made, see how it sounds, <laughs> sounds pretty good.
Oh, let's try with this striker. Sounds pretty good. Kinda hard to get a purr on it. Uh, try to get the striker a little roughed up a little bit more. Maybe be easier with wood. It's a little bit high pitched, but. Yeah, I think aluminum is just more high pitched. So, yeah. All right. So, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time. Make sure you like the video, subscribe. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching PA Outdoors. I'll see you next time.